Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Isle of Arrows. This is a new uh, kind of roguelike tower defense game that's being touted a little bit more as a puzzle game than as a uh, true kind of tower defense game. Um, as many of you know, I'm, I'm not actually a huge fan of tower defense games. I don't really like the the micromanaging of, of this tower has to target this person and that and this and that. Um, and I find them to, to sometimes get a little bit boring in, in terms of the gameplay. Uh, but this one's pretty different, to be honest with you. Uh, since it has the roguelike kind of component to it, you're building the island as you kind of play. Uh, and there's a bunch of different kind of upgrades and effects and, and things like that. Uh, the game is getting some some interesting reviews. It, it's actually getting kind of blasted by people, um, mainly because they don't understand that the game's not a normal tower defense game. Um, and the dev has tried to explain this uh, many times. It even has on the Steam page. Uh, it says, here's what the game offers, here's what the game does not offer, <laughs> right? So it has, here's what it offers, a new spin on tower defense, endless replayability through randomly drawn tiles, a diverse range of towers, tiles, bonus cards, and events, uh, and then the beautiful minimalistic graphics and brutally difficult challenges. All that sounds fantastic to me. Here's what it doesn't offer, free selection over what towers to build. One of the things I hate in tower defense games. Sounds great. Uh, tower upgrades and manual targeting options. Two of the things I hate in, in a tower defense game. Uh, and deck building mechanics, which, I mean, for what it's worth, I, I don't necessarily need them. So I'm intrigued by this. Um, I, I've been looking for a, a tower defense game that I can sink my teeth into and actually enjoy. So thank you to the dev for reaching out with the key. Let's check it out and see what's going on. I could hit how to play, um, but frick it, dude. Let's let's just <laughs> let's just send it, right? Um, let's do the campaign. So defend the aisle and unlock new cards. I'm in. That sounds good enough to me. Um, and I will do the Archer's Oath. It appears there's a couple different uh, campaigns we can do. So, you, oh, holy frick. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff, man. So are these, are these upgrades that we get? I, I don't know if this is like a, a kind of meta progression type thing where as we play we unlock new tiles kind of thing. That's, I mean, that's really what it looks like. Uh, to me, so we start with, we have a quarry, no clue what it does, a, a dart tower and a spike trap. I can assume a lot about what some of these do. Archer's Oath is the freedom of death, only the most talented bowmen are worthy of becoming defenders of the isle. Send me in. Okay, so we have a bunch of different guilds, none that I can use quite yet, um, but I can play as the founders. The founders gain hearts every 10 waves. Okay, send me, sure. Let's see what happens. So, the objective, protect the compass stone from waves of enemies. Very good. That's an enemy, that's the compass stone. I understand. Place tiles, extend the attacker's path, and build towers to defend. Tower defense game. Uh, use cards to place tiles. You can spend two gold to skip a card. Interesting. Um, normally you would want to, like, spend two to get cards, but in this case, I suppose sometimes you may not want to place something as you don't necessarily have the space. We'll see. Um, place tiles, drag and drop, click to rotate them. Sounds good to me. Um, cards advance to the left automatically after each wave. Okay, sometimes it can be more strategic to let a card pass by instead of using it. Um, press the star wave button. Income. You gain plus one income after each wave. You gain an additional income for every ten you hold. Uh, up to a max of, of four. Okay. As a, this is a pretty common uh, mechanic that's been sneaking its way into roguelike games recently, is having that uh, kind of income income mechanic where you also get the additional if you hold on to stuff. Um, bridges build outside the aisle using bridges. Okay, crazy. Um, build over existing tiles using bombs. Uh, and some tips. Tiles are randomly drawn. Make the best of what you're given. Plan ahead, but leaving gaps in roads can be risky. Have a high income allows you to skip more tiles. Save money when you can. Place each tower strategically. Click on the timeline to see the upcoming events. Okay, so here we are. Um, first off, I just want to say, freaking love the graphics on this one. Um, I'm a huge fan of minimalistic style to begin with, um, and this hits it. And with the wind in the background for the music, the birds flying, I, I love this. So we have two waves, we get bonus cards, and then two more waves. Sounds good to me. Ten hearts, four money-ish. I got three money I can spend. I have a bridge, I have a bomb. Um, let's, let's place a road. So I can... How do, how do I move you? I... Placement not allowed. 
I would like to to rotate you. I'm I'm trying. There is is just left click to rotate. Okay. Um, let's place that. Now, what is the flag? Flag extends the aisle with new grounds. Okay. Um. So that's the next one. So I can't play this yet. Okay. Interesting. And then we have an arrow tower. And the arrow tower is a basic arrow tower. Okay, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so I can hit next here, and that skips it. But we know we're getting a flag. I mean, let's see what happens, right? We're on the first wave of the damn game. I'm not too worried. So now we're into wave two already. Um, things, things are flying along now, aren't they? Okay, so here is this flag. Now... I'm assuming, yeah, so I have to place it, it appears I have to place it adjacent to where, so let, let's see, must place on ground, okay, um, but I can't place here, must place next to existing tiles, okay, um, I mean, let's, let's just see what happens if I put you, so this would use a bridge, don't really want to do that, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm, I'm intrigued by this. I, I really have no idea whether this is good or not. This expands a little further. Let's place this here. Okay, so that legitimately just expands the land. Created a weird little water pit. Sure, dude. That's fine. And, and then we're going to get an, another arrow tower. And I think that that probably bodes well for us. So here's our bonus cards. I don't know what this button does. It's just a visibility. Okay. Um, so I can get some materials. I can restore a heart. Uh, or I can look at the next three tiles and discard any number of them. I think it's valuable to have more materials pretty much always. So what's a workshop? When adjacent to two water tiles, you gain a path tile of your choice. Very interesting. Okay. I like that. So theoretically, that could go like here, the workshop. Um, but for right now, I feel like it's going to be more valuable to put this here and then we'll try to snake the road like this way right and then it's getting affected by by all the things i'm i'm with it dude i'm with it already i'm gonna tell you i i actually like this a lot <laughs> i like this a lot and i i feel like it was not going to be a surprise that i like this um when adjacent to two water tiles gain a path tile of your choice so if i put you right here you ain't gonna do anything for a little bit, but then you're gonna hopefully do something in the future. We had some stronger enemies there, but that's okay. What is the ice trap? Places ice patches on all adjacent path tiles. Okay, some tiles have water tiles attached to them that take up extra space. I have no idea what that means. So this would create an ice patch right there. I'm, I'm interested, so it, it can only do one anyway. Well, not ne I suppose not necessarily. I can't tell if this takes up multiple spots or not. But I am kind of intrigued with the idea of, of putting it, like, here. Because if we put it here... See, I understand now. I understand the issue here. Because we have no idea what we're going to get. <laughs> it's total RNG. So we may not get a path. That, that helps us out. Oh, and it always places water. I could have done... Okay. You know what? This this makes a lot of sense. I'm getting a path next. I think we do want that. Because we we want to... We want this sucker over here to work. So we, we create the path. That's good. Uh, a croupier offers you to play a game of spin the win. Of course, I'm going to spin the wheel of Isaac. Show me, show me the money. What do you got? You got a little... Heartbreak seems like a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> seems seems like that's yeah okay i just took a damage that's that's a little unfortunate um okay take my path i'm gonna put you right there now this is going to affect this tile that seems fantastic to me do i want more land i'm gonna tell you absolutely freaking lootly i want more land um because i want to put it right here we put a water tile right here i'm gonna get another path i can snake it this way that seems like a, a top tier situation wow the slowness is it slows them down for sure hey are you ever gonna shoot this guy okay congrats you got me hope you're proud um okay flag I don't know why he was not he was not shooting my boy right there. So placing that, we now get this going. I get a path tile of my choice. I would love to have this little curve right here, because now you're getting hit by this, and I can snake you this way. Um, do I want to skip this path tile? 
You know what? No, I don't. I, I'm going to plan ahead a little bit. Um, we're going to put... Dude, I need more damage. We're, we're gonna be having a... a yeah, we're, we're fricked up. <laughs> we're a little fricked up. Um, another path. So that path would end up putting a water tile here. Because he, here's, here's what I'm thinking, right? We, we gotta place this one. It, it gets placed right here. We would then, by placing this... We're rotating it once. It's going to put a water tile here, which may not even be possible. You know what, dude? I I think no. I think no. Oh, what the frick? I can keep on doing this? Okay, well, never mind. Um, let's... let's now, now I feel obligated to, to get things kind of rolling a little bit. Um, I do think... You know what? Honestly, I think this is fine. I don't know. Maybe I hate that. <laughs> maybe I actually do not like that at all. Um, was that a poor idea? That might have been a poor idea. Uh, do we want to workshop right this second? Um, I mean, not necessarily. We don't really have a good spot to put it. Where it's adjacent. Although, you know what? No. I think we do want this. Because I want to put you... Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, this is a wild idea. So I use a bomb to get rid of a workshop, which then places another workshop. It's adjacent to two water. I fill in this tile. We, yeah. Dude, I, okay, I really like that, actually. I think that was a good play. Now this expands out, and we're, we're big chilling. Now this path, I'm not gonna want. I would ruin my extra income. Let's just send it, okay? Let's just send it. Um... We, we do have... Oh, you are strong. What the heck? Oh, you're not that strong. Well, you're still pretty strong. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we take care of business. Um, I like this, okay? I think that we should look at the next three tiles. So, I would like to discard this. A cannon tower seems like a fantastic situation for me. You know? J just to have... A little bit of extra damage. I think that that's a good idea. Let's, let's send it. So, this path... I don't want this. I mean, I guess I'm going to take it. I thought I discarded that, but maybe I didn't. Um, that's going to go there. I am going to grab this cannon tower. Now, you... Wow, you only do adjacent, huh? That's... I mean, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks, if I'm being honest with you. Um, wow, there's like no good spot for this, is there? Pretty, pretty horrific, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so we could do, we could do this. I hate it, right? I, I really don't like it. Um, I could build bridges. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I have two bridges. This helps us on the back end. What are you, by the way? Oh, that's just my resources. I don't even know what the hell this tower does. Let, let's place it. So, cannon tower damages all enemies in an area not always accurate. Okay. Um, do I want this path? Dude, I, I think we do. I, I understand that this ruins our... Um, it ruins our income for this wave, but I think it's good. Now, the market square. Enter the black market as soon as this is fully surrounded by other tiles, including diagonals. What the frick is the black market, dude? Uh, okay. Seems extremely weird. Uh... I'm down. I'm going to put it right here. Most likely. <laughs> Some of this stuff, I mean, I just want to know, right? I just want to know what it does. I want to know, can you show me? Something's familiar about these aisles of arrows like me. Uh, pointy flag. What the hell is this? Extend the, the area. So this is just a flag. This is just a pointy flag. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to play the market square. I'm going to tell you, I think this is a, a massive freaking mistake. Um, I think we need to spend money and we need to do it now. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I think we need to do it now. So pointy flag. I'm, I'm going to place you. Oh, you are freaking wacky. Aren't you? You're very wacky. Let's put you here. And then my, my plan is basically that we can expand. Oh, frick. I can't actually place this. Okay. So the, the idea, I guess, is that you would expand this way? Wow, it's not good. It's not good. I think that is extremely horrible. <laughs> I, I think that is a mistake. 
is the best way to word that. Um, ice trap, man. Ugh. More, more water. Don't really love that, but I, I am going to place this because I'm gonna tell you, we need to do something. So now they're they're frozen through here, but I don't really have a, a backup of actual attack that we can use to get through this. This tile sucks. I I just don't want it at all. Um, but we need the arrow tower. So now you would put the arrow tower. Um, where where do you put the arrow tower, huh? Yeah, that's like a horrible location. <laughs> There's a worse spot that I could put this arrow tower. Um, I could use a bomb and get, get rid of some stuff. To be honest, this is not horrible, okay? It's not horrible. It's, it's a little messy, for sure. Can't do that, huh? So you would have to create more water. Wow, it's just, it's just bad. It's just bad, if I'm being perfectly blunt. Um, there, there is no redeemable spot to put this except for maybe right here and i think right here is actually just disgusting okay um i'll do it <laughs> i'll do it look we're we're testing out the waters a little bit seeing where life takes us here in this this wonderful uh world that we're living in not being able to target the towers dude it makes this area frightening because you basically have to rely on those two suckers. We got the founder pledge for reaching wave 10. That's good. Um, so this is actually... I can pay for stuff. That's fun. Um, I don't really want any of it, is the unfortunate situation. Uh, maybe we want this path. Okay, I I'll bite on that. Placement not allowed. Cannot cut off paths. Okay, well can't do that either so i guess we're placing that over there oh dude we're we're in we're in the damn business right now so that was just a straight up black market so this when we surround it will also be a black market um which is is cool where can i put this flag that makes us happy uh it, this isn't horrible he says knowing it's kind of horrible um it would expand this, like, ever so slightly. This does not really help us at all. Uh, ideally, if, if we're being perfectly honest, ideally we would want... Oh, this is weird. I don't really think we like that. Yeah, I don't think we like that in any way. I, I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it there. That that gives us the most space that that we can get in that situation. I think we're freaking not doing good. Okay. I was going to say, I think we're freaking dead. Um, I think that would be difficult as these guys do not have enough life, um, or enough damage or, or something to kill us. Um, but I think we're, I think we're in bad shape for the future. I'm also like, eventually this is going to be awesome, but that eventually is not soon. Let, let's just be perfectly real about this. Um, let's go. A quarry is not going to help us, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, offers quite literally no benefit to me, uh, to have a quarry. Unless, I mean, I could bomb and do that again, but then what am I gonna get? I'm gonna get a damn, I'm gonna get a damn road that I can't do anything with. Because our roads are in freaking hell. Remove half of all water tiles. Fill all one tile wide path gaps. No, you know what? This is, this is so simple. I don't know, is this? Remove half of all water tiles. Okay, we have six water tiles. You're gonna remove three of them. The chances of you hitting this is high. It's 50%, hence the half. <laughs> hence the half. Let's try. You removed none of the ones I wanted you to. Okay, good talk. Um, a quarry. Destroy all adjacent tiles. This is not what I thought the quarry did. Destroy all adjacent tiles. You gain one money for each destroyed tile. Okay. Um. That's such a wacky path. What the heck? Um. So like here, here's what I wanna. Here's what I wanna know. You would destroy this awful path, giving me the opportunity to actually put a decent path into there. Okay. Yeah, I'm chill with that. I'm chill with that. 
And and the sick part is, so these flags expand our land, but they don't limit us. You can get rid of them and it keeps the land still. Which is like massive. That that's a really, really valuable thing to have. Um now, I'm terrified because we have um we got damn Judas Priest coming in here. We are not killing him. He's he's way too strong. Okay. That's good to know. Um, so this path, you're you're just a big chonker, right? You're you're just a massive lad in this situation. Um, I've also now learned something. So paths can overwrite other paths. Maybe. I mean they can partially overlap other paths. So I could send you right here. I think that's a bad idea, okay? I think it's a bad idea. I do think we want an archery tower. There, it's it's so messy, right? It's so messy. Um, <laughs> frick, dude. There's there's just like, what do you what do you do with this? Here here's what I'm gonna do with this. I am gonna buy you. That path is so useless. I am gonna buy you. I'm gonna put you right here, okay? We we need more attack on our on our front what is a watch post adjacent towers deal 10 percent more damage and target the enemy with the most health okay that's fine i mean i'm i'm okay with that you're gonna go here you're now getting frozen that's that's fantastic so what towers do we want to have more damage i i suppose wow <laughs> Wow, he says, because this is, like, freaking horrible. There is no redeemable place for this to go. I guess we're making the cannon slightly better. Jesus, criminy, that's not good at all. That is that is extremely horrible. Okay. I'm getting fricked up a little bit, but it's, it's, it's good. It's a good little fricked up, I think. Um... This flag offers us no benefit. Just start the wave. We, we got some fast lads coming in. We do have some slow towers, so that helps. I've added some, some extra attack into the business. Judas Priest is coming, and he's he's ready for business, for sure. Um, I don't believe we have enough fire. We don't have enough firepower. Okay. Our, our area is fricked up because we made mistakes over here, and I'm just happy to admit it, okay? I'm extremely happy to admit it. So this flag... Um, I think you set up a play like this. I mean, it's just not good. It's just not good. Instead, you do something like this, and then that expands a lot of space over here. I think that's fine. Now, this path right here, what a horrible block. We, we simply do not care about it at all. Um, hoping to survive this wave, we will survive this wave. We're in... I mean, Judas Priest gets through. If, if, if Judas Priest makes it to this situation, he he wins every single time. He, he's a damn son of a gun. A genie grants me a wish. Fantastic. Um, I will take a path tile of my choice. A straight path sounds fantastic. Dude, if we can just get a straight path, we're going to be, like, cruising all of a sudden. It would be very nice if we could. Um, an ice trap... I don't see any value in whatsoever. Um, a straight path. Are you the greatest person to ever exist? You are, except I can't place you right here. So, frick my life into pieces. I'll put you right there instead. An arrow tower I cannot play at the current moment. I mean, dude, there's like no shot I'm surviving this wave, probably. Like, you really think that we can handle uh, this many people? Very, very unlikely. Just kidding. We're we're kind of fine, except for Judas Priest, who uh, will always make it through. I mean, we're basically just if they send two Judases at me, I'm I'm done. That that's where we sit right now. Um, now would have loved to put this tower right here. Cannot do it. <laughs> have a small limitation. I I literally just like put myself in a position where we could not survive it's just it's just that easy right um i, I am gonna buy this because now if we could have done this in reverse order we could have put that there that probably would have saved us two judases we die you how many judases you got we might still be dead that's a lot of people i mean it's it's, it's a lot of people not looking good 
we're dead. Okay. Um, you know what, dude? This was this was a valuable little journey for me. Um, because now I know how to play. <laughs> now I know how to play. So we unlock some stuff. The the Ring of Ruin, a bonus card, gain two whenever a tile is destroyed. Um a coin toss encounter to play with my life. Reinforced path. I don't no idea what that is, but cool. And then a grinding stone. Spike traps stay up longer. Um, we saw some really cool stuff, and I think that that's a lot of fun. Also, take a look at this. So this is our, our compendium of all the stuff that we've found. Um, that's pretty sick. And there's still, like, you know, a lot of stuff to see. And, and that's just in the one area. Holy frick. So then you get into this area, there's even more stuff. Uh, so a lot of content hiding in this little game. Um, I had a blast with this. I'm, I'm excited to hop back in. I would like to play more, so please let me play more. Um, that's gonna be that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.